All right, how's everybody doing today? Um, out here at the beach, I uh, got three metal detectors with me today that are going to do some testing on. Uh, I've got the Equinox 800 right here, got the Equinox 900, and got the XP Deus 2. So, gonna run those through out gonna run those around out here uh, i'm gonna start with the deus 2 because it has proven to me that it's been a little bit deeper than the equinox and so what i'm gonna do is find some targets with the with the deus 2 and then run both the 800 and the 900 over them and see if there's any difference between those two and whether or not they can get as deep as the deus 2 out here so Fairly salty environment, is a little bit challenging. Um, not sure how far I'm gonna be able to run the sensitivity up on the Equinoxes. Uh, the Deus handles this stuff pretty well though. So let's get to it, we'll see what we can find. Okay, so I have five targets marked that were found with the Deus 2. By the way, all the detectors are running 11 inch coils. Uh, first I'm gonna run the equinox 800 over these targets and see what they sound like and so what i've got is a beach one let's see we'll do a noise cancel i think there's a much emi out here we will ground balance the unit so it's settling at 16. We're gonna run the volume all the way up so we can hear these signals. I'm gonna run the recovery at four and I'm gonna run the iron bias at zero. And then we'll see what we can run sensitivity at without. Looks like we can probably run it all the way up. Okay, I've got the Equinox 900 now, and we're gonna run it in Beach 1. Let's just go through the setups here. So we'll noise cancel it. We're gonna ground balance it. About the same numbers as the 800. We're gonna volume all the way up. We'll keep it in five tones. We'll run that down to four. Iron bias down to zero. And then sensitivity. There's 25. A little bit chattery at 28. 27 too. I think I'm gonna have to run it at 25 okay okay here's the deus 2 um, I have a program that I call G GSL for the beach here uh, in one of my other videos I've got all the setup I'm not gonna run through it right now but it's the one I always use out here so it's it's the program we'll go off of these are fairly closely spaced um, this is the Equinox 800 on this one same setup as was previously previously described that could end up being iron the way it's acting it's a one-way hit at any rate you hear that iron coming in there okay this is the uh 900 on target one That appears to be a better signal. Okay, here's the DS2. This is what found the targets. Um, same settings. Here's target number one. Pretty decent. Okay, so this is target one. See 
if we got it. Eighties. So probably gonna end up being a penny. Yeah, most likely a penny, possibly a dime, but most likely a penny. It looks like it's copper. Here's target number two with the Equinox 800. A little jumpy. But for the most part, I think we're in the 16 to 19 range on that one. Target number two with the Equinox 900. appears to like that and they are pretty similar in setup target number two DS2 is pretty sure of itself on that one hey here's target two it's right next to target one I'm uh, assuming this will be a penny as well based on the IDs we're getting. And it's probably out. Nope. Not out yet. Should be out with that though. 88, that might be a dime. Yeah, we probably got a dime there. Based on that higher ID and the diameter. We'll have to see later though. Target number three. Equinox is 800 clearly saying that this is iron. Target number three with the 900. I think the 900's also calling that one iron. This is the one that's possibly iron. Yeah, I'm starting to think that it is at this point. Both of the uh, Equinoxes, I think are pretty much saying it's iron. With the DS2, very typical of um, limits of detection. Well, you, know, you know, on all of them really, but honestly, I'd be more apt to dig it with the DS2. And it very well could be iron. I think it's really starting to sound weird. I don't know if this is going to be anything good. Get down here and see what we can find out. All right, I'm not finding anything, so we're gonna give up on that one. This is target number four. Target number four with a 900. Hey, 
Okay, target number three or four, the DS2. Coming up in the 50s. 70, 54, 59, 64. Okay, this is target number four. Got it out. That gray sand down there is about where they start coming. The targets live, so. Sounds like it's still down there. Probably really close to it now. But that's over a foot deep. Still in there. I'll have to get the pinpointer out. Okay, that's out, coming up 85 now that's out. That's gonna be a coin. So looking like probably a penny from the copper makeup there, but We'll have to uh, crack the crud off that and figure out what it is later. Could be a dime. One last signal I'm going to co compare here between the three, then I'm just going to hunt with the 900 after that, um, or after this one. So, on the, I need to ground balance this thing, it's getting a little erratic. Okay, um, 87. but kind of ratty on the DS2. Let's grab the 800, then we'll grab the 900 on this one. Okay, here's the 800. Direction's okay. It's saying deep nickel though, whereas the Deus is saying more like something like a penny. Let's grab the 900, see what it sounds like. Okay, here's the 900 on this last target. Yeah, 900 doesn't really like that either. I may just end up throwing this one out. Doesn't sound all that good on all the machines. say that the Deus 2 probably sounded the best. Well, there it is out. And it's looking like it might be a nickel. Yeah, it 
dropped it. Boy, I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's a coin at all. Might be one of those little tokens. I think that might be a little uh, tax token. We'll have to see. But it's small. So. Interesting. Anyway, there was a signal down there. Alright, I'm going to call it a day. Been good out here. Been out here about four hours comparing these detectors. The I think, man, they're all good detectors. I think the uh, Equinox 900 has the edge over the 800 in this particular scenario. Uh, I'm not saying it's conclusive, um, but that's what I'm seeing in my area at this particular beach is that the 900 is outperforming the 800 by a small margin. And the DS2 is right up there too. Um, is I think that the 900 and the DS2 are neck and neck pretty much. But anyway, I think whatever detector you pick, you know, you, you can't make a mistake. They're all good detectors. Um, the DS2 is nice and compact, lightweight. Uh, the Equinox 900, now that it's got that collapsible um, shaft on it, makes it really easy to pack. It's very very well balanced and ergonomic and the 900 or the 800 is still a good machine so anyway um i will be headed here shortly um the next couple of days down to arizona where i'll be testing the 900 a little more gonna be doing some gold hunting with it don't know if i'm actually gonna use it all that much because it's really the country down there is really suited for pis uh, pulse induction machines and I'm really I really like my 6,000 for that so we'll see how much I get it out but I'll try and maybe hit a ghost town while I'm down there do some separation tests and see how it compares with the 800 but stay tuned for that so until next time I'll see you later